So you just won the lottery and you have one question on your mind. Hey Mark, which phone should I go for? Should I should I humble myself a little bit and get the S24? Or, you know, since I won the lottery, should I just, you know, go a little extra and get the S24 Plus? Well, look, I know you're rich, you won the lottery, your time is precious. So I'm gonna give you the answer straight away. Personally, I think you should go for the S24 Plus. You're just getting a little more for your money and it's also a little bit more future-proofed. But if you want to know how I came to that conclusion, keep watching this video. Okay, now listen, because this is super important. Are you listening? Are you? Okay, good. Because you have a few more days to pre-order this phone, and if you do, you save so much money. You save big. So for example, if you're going for the S24, Best Buy is going to give you up to $600 of trading credit and a free storage upgrade from 128 to 256 And on top of that, Best Buy is also going to give you a $50 gift card to buy cases, accessories, or a new fridge. And if you're going to go for the S24 Plus, you're going to get up to $750 of trading credit. You're going to get that same free storage upgrade from 256 gigs to 512. And Best Buy is also going to give you a $100 gift card instead of a $50 gift card. These deals run out in a few days, so take advantage of it if you want. And if you do want it, I'll have a link down below for you guys to check out. It'll bring you straight there. So let's just take some time to appreciate how good these phones look like with this new design. They look incredible. Okay, that's enough time. We're moving on. Now, comparing the RAM and storage of these two phones, the S24 comes standard with 8GB of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. And of course, it's running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. Now, the bigger brother, the S24 Plus, comes standard with 12GB of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. And of course, you're getting the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. But if you live in Europe or some other uh, regions of the world, uh, you might get the Exynos 2400, which I actually hear pretty good things about. So if you're going for the S24 Plus, not only are you getting double the storage, but you're also getting more RAM by 4 gigabytes, in fact. So why is RAM important? Well, have you guys ever been scrolling the internet on your phone or maybe you're using your favorite app and then you leave that app, open up a different app, but then you close that one and come back to the app that you were originally using. And then all of a sudden it's refreshed and you lose the place that you were at. Yeah, that's because your phone did not have enough RAM. Now, this still does happen with 12 gigs of RAM, even 16 gigabytes of RAM, but of course, you're going to run into it less often. The display on these two phones are both fantastic, but for the first time ever, the S24 Plus has a Quad HD Plus display compared to the Full HD Plus on the standard S24. This is fantastic because last year, the S23 Plus had the same display as the S23, so the, the differences between them were not that big of a deal. But now you're basically getting the same exact screen on the S24 Plus that you are with the S24 Ultra. That's wild. So if you want the sharper display, definitely go for the S24 Plus over the standard S24. The display sizes did go up compared to last year's model, but that's because the bezels now are a lot slimmer and symmetrical. And I must admit, these phones look so good from the front. It is actually incredible. <laughs> So as far as brightness goes, both phones go up to the same eye blistering 2,600 nits of brightness, which is well enough to see the screen when you're outdoors. But you gotta keep in mind the S24 Plus and the S24 have different screen technology when compared to the Ultra. What I mean by that is the S24 and the S24 Plus are gonna be really, really, well, as you guys can tell, really reflective. That's because the Ultra has an anti-reflective screen already built into the actual glass. If you're enjoying the video so far, I would greatly appreciate you leaving me a like. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job entertaining you and telling you what you need to know. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Taking a look at the back of the phones, you're going to get the same triple camera setup. And when I say same, I mean that literally. They are identical. So if cameras are important for you, both of these phones will do the job just fine. You honestly cannot go wrong with either model. The main improvements in fact will just be in the software since the hardware is the same from last year and the, by the way the same goes for the selfie camera it is identical now since these phones are two different sizes the weight is also different shocker right <laughs> The Samsung Galaxy S24 weighs 167 grams, whereas the big brother, the S24 Plus, weighs 196 grams. 
Now, look, are you going to be able to tell a difference? Yes, immediately. You 100% will. Um, the difference is quite obvious, but I think the bigger difference is going to be what kind of what kind of case you put on your phone because you can take the S24 Ultra, put a bulky case on it, and it'll weigh the same as the S24 Plus with a, with a slim case on it. So I think your choices of cases are going to impact the comfort and heavy heaviness level of your phone. I need some coffee. But of course, if you do want to rock your phone with no case and you know, you got that money to spend because you just won the lottery, then definitely go for the S24 because this this phone is just so, so comfortable to use. It is, it is, I mean, man, Samsung nailed it. Okay, Samsung, you did it. Battery life is also a big one and it's quite different because they are different sizes and therefore they have a uh, different battery sizes. Yay, physics. The S24 Plus has 4,900 milliamp hour battery, which by the way is only 100 milliamp hours less than the S24 Ultra. Huh. And the S24 has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Now let me put it this way, the S24 Plus is going to get you around 6 hours of screen on time, which is definitely good enough for your average days at work or maybe at the park when you go hiking. Wherever you go, I think that's definitely the sweet spot for battery life. But of course, if you are a medium to heavy user, this guy is definitely going to be the one you want. In fact, you're going to get an extra hour, sometimes a little bit more than an hour of screen on time. Now, of course, keep in mind, this is all subjective. So your usage patterns might be different from how I use my phone. So do keep that in mind. But in any way you put it, if you need more battery life, you know, you know what you need, right? You don't need me to tell you what you need. You already know if you need good battery life. And if you do and you want the best battery life, but you don't want to get the ultra, definitely go for the S24 Plus. So at the end of the day, I really recommend the S24 Plus because it just makes more sense. You're getting a little bit more for your money. You're getting a sharper display, more RAM for background tasks, better battery life, higher base storage, and it even goes up to 512 gigs, which the S24 does not. But hey, maybe you don't need all those extra things. You don't need better battery life. You don't need to be on your phone for 10 hours a day. You don't need the larger display. You just want a nice, comfortable phone. Then you definitely cannot go wrong with the S24 Plus, especially with those uh, pre-order deals. They are insane. All in all, the S24 series this year really packs a punch and I'm absolutely loving Loving this new design language that Samsung went for. It just looks so darn clean. So what do you guys think? Do you like the S24 series? Are you going to get it? Did you already get it? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. And if you did enjoy today's video, definitely click that like button. It's absolutely free to you, but it helps me and the channel out a lot. And I always truly appreciate it. And if you are new here and you like these types of chill, relaxed kind of review videos, definitely subscribe. And as always, this was Mark from Markstack. Adios.